Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to do basic calculations right inside Microsoft Word tables. Many of you might be used to creating tables in Excel, performing calculations there, and then copying the table into Word. While this approach works well for complex calculations, it's not necessary for simpler tasks. You can actually perform these basic calculations directly within Word itself. Let's dive in and explore this convenient method. By doing so, you'll save time and ensure accuracy in your calculations. Let's get started. This table contains income and expenditure records for the first quarter of the year. Let's calculate the total salary for this period. Select the cell where you want the result to appear. Go to the Layout tab and choose Formula. A Formula dialog box will open, and Word will suggest the best formula for that cell. The suggested formula uses the argument left. This is called a positional argument, referring to adjacent cells on the left. Word automatically determines the cell range based on data in the neighboring cells. It stopped before the header row since the data type is different. Click OK. Now you'll see the calculated salary for the first three months. Similarly, you can use right, below, and above positional arguments for other calculations. Positional arguments have limitations and are most suitable for basic calculations. If you want to insert calculated results into the cell highlighted in green in this image, positional arguments can only access the cells shaded in gray. You cannot refer to other cells using this method. To overcome this limitation, consider using specific cell addresses. Doing so provides more flexibility and avoids potential confusion, especially when dealing with larger tables or complex formulas. Let's explore how you can use cell references to perform calculations. Cell references in Word work similarly to Excel cell references. Here's how it works. The first column is labeled as A, and the first row is labeled as 1. So, you can name the top left cell as A1, the next cell as B1, and so on. This system allows you to refer to specific cells within your Word table, just like you would in Excel. It's a handy way to perform calculations and work with data. Now, let's perform the same calculation using cell references. Click the formula button to open the formula dialog box. To calculate the total income for the month of January, we'll sum up the values in cells B3 to B4. Enter the formula and click OK. You'll get the same result as before. Similarly, we can calculate the total salary for the first quarter by summing the values in the range B3 to D3. You can also create more complex formulas using these functions and cell references. Let's calculate the remaining balance for the month of February. To calculate the remaining balance, we'll subtract the total expenditure from the total income. When you change values in the table later, the calculated field doesn't update automatically like it does in Excel. You have to update it manually. Here's how. Right-click on the calculated field and choose Update Field. However, this method doesn't update all affected fields. To update the entire table at once, select the entire table using the table handle. Press the F9 key. This will update all the calculated fields in the selected table. In Microsoft Excel, there are several types of fields. The formula we used here is just one of them. These fields appear shaded in gray or become shaded once you click on them. The behavior depends on your individual word settings. To change this behavior, go to File and select Options. Choose Advanced, and scroll down until you find the field shading option. Select the behavior you prefer. Click OK. When working with Word tables, it's advisable to avoid mixing positional arguments and cell references within the same table to do calculations. Doing so can lead to unexpected results when you modify the table and update the calculated fields. For example, let's consider a scenario. We calculate expenses for the month of January using positional arguments. Simultaneously, we calculate the remaining balance using cell references. 
the issue arises when you update the fields. The formula for calculating expenses extends its range up to the remaining balance row, creating a circular reference. As a result, you won't get the expected results. To avoid this, it's better to consistently use cell references when dealing with multiple calculated fields in a table. This approach ensures clarity and accuracy in your calculations. Thank you for watching.